Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the reimagined HD35 from Martin Guitars. The 35 series was initially launched back in 1965 as a way for Martin to make better use of their diminishing stocks of Brazilian rosewood and the series has stayed in Martin's lineup since that time. For 2018, Martin Guitars have reimagined their entire standard series range, adding aging toner to the tops, changing the binding to an aged binding, and also adjusting the neck shapes on the guitars. The HD35 has a Sitka spruce top, which is braced with a forward shifted quarter inch scalloped bracing pattern. It has a three piece Indian rosewood back and Indian rosewood sides, a select hardwood neck with an ebony fingerboard, a bone nut and saddle, with a nut spacing of one and three quarter inches and a saddle spacing of two and five thirty seconds. The neck profile is a modified low oval with a high performance taper and the entire guitar is finished in a gloss nitrocellulose finish, apart from the back of the neck which is finished in a satin nitrocellulose finish. The guitar comes with a Martin hard case and has an RRP of £2,899. The HD35 has been a classic Martin model for many years so I'll be very interested to see if the new tweaks for 2018 have changed anything and have taken anything away from its classic status. My first impression of the guitar is that despite the small tweaks for 2018, it's still a totally classic looking Martin. The aging toner on the top of the guitar gives it a nice vintage vibe and really shows off the great wood selection on the Sitka Spruce top, which has some beautiful cross silking. The Indian rosewood for the back and sides are very dark and with some nice figuring, and the ebony on the fingerboard is real dark jet black as well. The herringbone purfling sets off the new aged white binding perfectly and the cherry on the top is the hand beveled tortoiseshell guard. The build quality of the guitar is superb, I can't find any faults with it at all. The finish is like a mirror in some places and the inside of the guitar is very clean as well and the whole package is just really fantastic looking. The tone of the guitar is your classic American flat top dreadnought tone. It's got big bass, full trebles and scooped mids. It's the sound that we all have in our heads when we think about the classic strummed acoustic guitar sound. There's no offensive frequencies in the tone at all. The guitar obviously excels at strumming, but I think it would be fair to say that a large dreadnought is not most people's first choice when it comes to an intimate fingerstyle guitar. And I think that did come across in the sound. I'm quite a light player, as I've said many times for Acoustic Review. And if you were gonna play fingerstyle on this guitar, I think you probably would need to be able to dig in a little bit harder, maybe use the thumb pick and finger picks perhaps, and get a more powerful sound. If you've got a strong right hand or a strong left hand, if you're playing a left-handed guitar, obviously, you can really dig into this guitar and get more power from it. But I just felt with my lighter style, I wasn't really getting the best from the guitar. I didn't feel like I was driving it as hard as it needed to be driven. 
That's not to say that the sound of the guitar is limp under a softer hand. I just feel that you don't get that same thrill as when the guitar is being driven harder and the bass and the treble really start to pop out of that sound hole. The guitar is very easy to play with an extremely comfortable neck shape and a very familiar string spacing at the nut and at the saddle. The action is a tad on the high side, but I think Martin do tend to ship their dreadnoughts with a slightly higher action because they are expecting people to mainly strum them playing big open chords. They want a big sound that doesn't have any buzz. And you know, there was no hint of buzz on this guitar at all, however hard you hit it. I think the players who are really gonna enjoy this guitar are those of us who want a classic American guitar tone for strumming, but also fingerstyle players who do have a heavy hand and can get the most out of a larger body guitar that does need to be pushed a little bit harder. There's no pickup included with the guitar, so if you did want to gig in a plugged in situation, you would have to factor a little bit of extra cost into your purchase. But I think if you're looking for a guitar that's gonna work great at home, in the studio, and either mic'd on stage, or once you've added a pickup to it, it's gonna work through an amplified situation, I think this is a classic sounding guitar, so there's many genres that it would fit straight into. One thing that I think is really cool with this guitar is that Martin have chosen to stick with the Grover tuners rather than the Waverly style open back tuners they've put on the other 2018 reimagined guitars. I think that keeps the guitar with its sort of 60s, 70s heritage and really keeps the look of the originals to this new updated model. A £2,899 RRP. Obviously this guitar is not a cheap instrument, Though we have seen prices in the UK rise for American guitars of late, it does seem to be in line with what other brands are charging for similar spec instruments. So I think the reality is if you want to buy a quality American made instrument from a historic brand, you are gonna be paying these sort of prices. So in one respect, I suppose I could say it does represent good value for money because if you want this style of guitar, this is the price you have to pay. But on the other hand, I have to be aware that there are some other alternatives out there if you're looking at European manufacturers, which are going to be less. However, what they're not going to have is the iconic American sound. I can't really think of anything that I would change on this guitar if I could. Perhaps it would be nice if there was a pickup included, because a lot of us nowadays do play in situations where we need to plug in. But that's always something that you can choose to add at a later date. And when you're spending this sort of money on a guitar, adding a pickup to it is not a significant extra investment. One thing I'm really pleased about is that although Martin have reimagined the guitar, what they haven't done is drastically changed anything. As soon as you pick this guitar up, you instantly feel connected to the guitars of the past. And as you're playing it and listening to it, this guitar gives you the classic American sound and feel. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos. And I look forward to seeing you next time.